Hey everybody, it's Commander Matt. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we went into World S and beat most of it. Um, getting up to the first star of Boss Blitz. And in this episode, we're going to take on the Stone Cyclone Box... Tox Box Speedrun. Um, this is not a fun speedrun. Start out 20 seconds. There's a clock here and here. What I recommend you doing is getting this clock and then coming back and doing your jump over. Now, if you long jump, you can save yourself an extra second, but I didn't do that. Oh, well. Honestly, it doesn't save you that much time, but in this speedrun, every second counts. This is... They actually did pretty good on this one. This one is pretty darn challenging. So, let's go over here and... I didn't know I hit that platform. Huh. We'll be right back. Or maybe we won't. We'll just commentate through the entire thing. Hurry up! Hurry up, Flumpy. Or, my bad, Tox. Your name is Tox, you're not Flump. You're not good enough to be a Flump. And there's a clock. I want the clock. Give me the clock. Thank you. I like clocks. Clocks are good. Wait, I need to start running. Alright, so now from here it just starts to become a little bit hard. But I have 20 seconds, so I should be fine. Long jump! Oh, this is good. Okay. And go! And we're home free. Sweet! Only one death. And, well, that was interesting. Do backflip, Mario! Oh, I made it just in time! Oh my goodness! Sweet. Alright, so next we're going to... I honestly don't know what we're gonna do. I'll figure it out. I thought I would mention something real quick. After you beat Bowser the first time, this L uh, door pops up. If you jump into it, or if you walk into it, you become Luigi for the entire time, which is how I'm playing as Luigi through the um, green stars. But Mario still got his chance to shine. Now, real quick, I'm going to pull out the rest of the um, star bits that I want from Bank Toad. Because I don't have enough for the last level, and... Uh, I don't want to have 9,999 in the bank anyways. So I want exactly 2,000. Why? Because I'm anal. Perfect. And that will give us the last level. Thank you, dude. Unless I randomly decided to shoot him. But... Anyways, I'm still waiting for um, this comment to appear, as well as the le the uh, letter from Mail Toad for the Slimy Spring, so we're going to go ahead and move on to this Luma up here instead, since this is the only thing we can do. Well, I guess we could technically do the speed run for Bowser, but that's for a different part. So this is the last Luma of the game! 2,000 Star Bits. Yes, I do have some star bits. Yes, I will feed you some star bits. That's right, fatty, eat. Eat, fatty, eat. And that's the last time we're going to transform Maluma. Yeah, that's the last time we're going to transform Maluma. For those of you that watched my test video, you guys know exactly what Galaxy this is. <clears throat> this is Flip Out, and probably my favorite level of the game. It is very challenging, and it's actually well designed. It actually makes you use tactics you didn't even know you had. Wicked Wall Jumps. And that's another reason. Probably this is my second favorite jump, Mario jump, besides the spin jump, has to be the wall jump. I love wall jumping. Once I perfected it, Sunshine, I absolutely loved it. So, um, let's spin this. For knowing how to do this, you can come up here and getting a one-up. 
Now you're eventually gonna have to do you're eventually gonna have to know how to do that, so that's a good test for you if you've never done it before. Just make sure to spin like halfway through so you don't hit the block or else you're not gonna be able to wall jump again. Make sure you're kinda halfway in between the two platforms so you can do it correctly. Now the comma of this comet of this the metal is very in a very well hidden spot. And the uh, comet for this level is actually pretty darn difficult. So, I don't like doing the same level twice in one episode, but we're just gonna have to do it. Unless I stuck in the comet with the Bowser level, and you don't want me to do that. That's just gonna be all Bowser all the time. So, we're just gonna wait for these spikes. Try to push him out of the way, but Mario's gonna completely fail on doing that. And that introduces you to how you need to use a spin jump to uh, activate a platform so you can wall jump. <coughs> In case you didn't do it before. So we're gonna want to boogie. That was brilliant. And I'm gonna want to wall jump up here before I get my ass spiked again. That could be taken out of context very easily. Alright, so as far as the comet goes, I had such a hard time finding this. You want to spin so the blue is showing, and then do a wall jump of fate. Or, actually, that's not what you wanted to do. You want to make it red, and then wall spin jump, like I'll show you here in two seconds. Alright, so now the red are showing. Long jump and spin. There we go. Then another long jump. And there's the metal. Very well hidden. Only way you can get it is by a leap of faith. Okay, I heard him. Perfect. We're moving on. Now we just need to do a little bit more wall jumps and we are out of this galaxy for now. Very nice. And now we're home free. Perfect! Very well designed galaxy. I give the game designer props on that one. Good ending for World S. For now at least. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time for the bots blitz speedrun. This is a very difficult speedrun. The time limit is very harsh. So, we're going to speed up and play some music. I don't know what I'm feeling today. I don't know. I'll figure it out. See you guys then. Enjoy the music.
just own that time limit. Why did I think that was so difficult? I remember the first time I played through it, I think I failed like five times before I actually got it. That poltergeist one run wasn't all that great, but holy crap, I owned everything else. Damn! That was, I was very, I'm very proud of that run. Very happy, very satisfied. And this will finish up World S. Well, for now at least. Twice. For now twice. Since, you know, the green stars then something completely different. That I'm not going to tell you. Yeah. Cosmic Clone Wall Jumpers. If you watch that test video, you know all about this level. Not too many of you guys did, and if you guys did, you guys would know what the last next LP is. <laughs> Speaking of, <clears throat> I went on to Game Facts uh, to help me out because I am doing a 100% speed run, and not speed run, but 100% run, and trying to find 100% by myself would have been very difficult. I've never done a 100% speedrun. Not speedrun. Why do I keep on saying speedrun? I've never done a 100% run of this game. But it's not going to be difficult. I just need help finding all the items. Because I don't want to be looking for hours upon hours. So it is a big... I'm going to go ahead and narrow it down a little bit. It is a very big game. It consists of... Um... My worlds doesn't have. I think. Five, six, six worlds. And there's items scattered all throughout it, so I'm gonna have a difficult time trying to find it all by myself. But I'm gonna do a practice run during the summer. Go through the game facts file I found. <clears throat> and, um... Make sure I can find all the items and put them in the order that I want them in and all that good stuff. So it'll work out well. It's definitely going to be possible. It's going to be a very editing extensive game. That's for sure. Let's go up this way. That way, I don't... I'm not interfered by the clones. Honestly, of all the jumps, that is the hardest jump to make because of that one clone that comes right behind you. He very often kills you. But he didn't kill me this time. That was actually a pretty almost flawless run. I'm doing well this episode. I'm excited. So hopefully Mail Toad finally showed up. I wanted to make this the last level, but Mail the Mail Toad never actually showed up yet. So the um I said earlier, uh, S Slimy Springs will be the last star we get, well, besides the speedrun of the Bowser level, but I don't want to do that until after I beat Bowser for the last time. Anyways, I will see you guys at Slimy Spring. Alright, so now finally, the Mail Toad decides to be nice and give us the last letter of the game. From the chimp. So as you can see, I actually did finish, um, got the speed run. Because the stupid, stupid, stupid letter wouldn't appear until I beat it, for whatever reason. So I beat it, and then now we're all nice and happy. The chimp's coin challenge. This is actually pretty difficult. What's up, Mr. Chimp? Yes. What you got first, buddy? I just read your message a second ago. Give me a break. Alright, so here we go. You got, uh, 180 seconds. I missed one coin. If I'm down by 100 points, I'll be so mad. This one honestly isn't that bad, I guess. It's just a lot of coin collecting, which is why this is kind of annoying. And 
And there is a lot of these guys, though. Make sure you collect their, um, star bits. I'm actually curious about something. Is there a one-up where the com where the comic coin's supposed to be? Yes, there is. There's a thousand points right there. Wow, we're almost done. Holy shit. <laughs> Definitely go into that tunnel, because there's a thousand points right... Wow, are you serious? Why did I think this was difficult? Oh my god, we're almost done already. Definitely rack up points here, though, because once you get past this first part, it actually becomes kind of difficult to get points. Um, I don't recommend killing these guys because it just takes so bloody long, and it's not really worth it at all. Now, like I said before... I'm going to kill this guy, though. That gives you 300 points. So that's kind of worth it. He may get 300 points right there, anyways. Do not go in that launch star immediately. Go over here. What the hell are you doing? And get this one up. There's 2,000 points right there. Come on, get the one up. Okay. There is 2,000 points of one ups. And like I thought, that one up isn't there because it's a very easy one up to get. I'm not even going to worry about that coin. And we're actually done already. Well, nearly. Now the booze, the booze do drop coins. Um, I guess it's not a bad idea to collect, come back and collect the coins that they drop, but it's not needed, especially if you already got 2,000 points from the everything else, and from the one-ups. I don't think you really need to come back and collect these coins. Now I'm gonna try to get to the end here and see what's at the end. If there's like a I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way to the end. I wasted too much time. Oh my god. <laughs> I got it without the one-ups. <clears throat> These do give you 300 points, so I guess it could be worth it, kinda. But I got 4,000 points over... Um, what I needed. So, actually, that's not very hard at all. <laughs> so next time, we is the finale. I will see you guys then. Command Matt signing out. Goodbye, everybody.